Okay, today we're going to be cooking um, slow cooked ham. Anyone who knows me knows that I really hate packet food. Um, I don't like feeding it to my family at all, and I try and avoid anything in a packet wherever I can. <clears throat> um, even for ham sandwiches, I don't like. I, I just don't like it. It's got too much junk in it. You don't know what you're eating. Too much salt. Um, so for me, a really cost-effective solution to that is to make my own. Um, I do that using my slow cooker. Um, it's really, really easy. You get your joint of ham. If you want to use gammon, if it's cheaper, then you can do. And you pop it. Take it out, obviously, take it out of its wrapper, pop it into your slow cooker, take off any plastic at all, leave the net on there, just wash your hands, um, because you want to keep it all together. Then, I pop a can of Coke in. Now, this is a really small can of Coke, it cost me 40 pence from Asda today. Um, so I'm just going to pour that whole can of Coke in. Now, ham and gammon both have absolutely loads of water in them um, if you buy them from the supermarket. So you, you're not going to need any more liquid at all because a lot of liquid is going to come out of that. So we pop the lid on, turn it on to low, and that's it. Literally leave it like that for six hours. Um, if you want to leave it for longer, leave it for eight. Don't leave it for any more than eight hours. Um, so if you're going to do it in the morning before you go to work, set a timer so that um, it comes on maybe an hour or two after you've left for work. It's okay to stay out on the side in your slow cooker till then. Um, and then you can turn it off when you get home from work. But that's it. Um, I'll come back in um, between six and eight hours and um, I'll show you what it looks like and what to do. Right, so this has been cooking for six hours now, so I'm just going to check it. A fork to hold it and a knife to prod it. What I just want to do is make sure it's hot all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try again. Hot all the way through and soft. Ow, yes, that's done. Don't do that, it's probably the stupidest thing you can do. But that's how I check it. Right, so, I'm going to take this out now, and there's absolutely loads of liquid come out of this. So there we go. That's what it looks like once it's cooked. So we need to take off the netting that keeps it together. And you want, unless you like the taste of the fat, you can take the fat off. I don't particularly like it. And so I'm gonna slice that off a bit. There's always quite a lot of fat on this. Um, on these, not just this. Um, but it does give it a really nice flavour when you cook it in the fat. Which is why I didn't take it off before I slow cooked it. I'm just going to take this off. And I'm going to need a sharp knife to slice it. And I'll show you how to slice it. Sticky fingers now. So, get yourself a sharp knife. This is a difficult because I'm left handed, so I'll turn it around and show you. Hold it with your fork, just slice thinly. There you go, something like that. You can slice it while it's still hot, you can slice it when it gets cold, it's completely up to you. Always make sure it's totally cold before you put it in the fridge. This can be frozen, so um, pack it into little freezer bags. Keep what you want for the next few days in the fridge and the rest in individual freezer bags um, in the freezer. And there you go.
That's how you roast a ham or slow cook a ham. <laughs>